and sunrise meets my skin. Feeling my eyes feel close to the sun. Golden, I'll call it one golden. Golden, golden. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany, this is Enjoy the Journey. And today I'm going to do a product review on my absolute favorite travel luggage backpack. I personally love this backpack. I've been using it for about four or five years now. And um, it's gotten me through 15 countries. I did 10 of those in five weeks on foot um, in the very shoes that I'm wearing. I'll show you those in a minute. Um, and it's just been such a powerful backpack to have for someone who likes to travel like me. So who is this backpack going to be for? It's going to be for people who want to travel a little bit more discreetly. I'm a solo female van lifer traveler. I like people to not really see that I'm long-term traveling. It looks just more discreet for me and that makes me feel safer when I travel. I like the, um, I like getting in and out. And that means like with things that I got to do, but also with my backpack um, or my luggage. I like to move fast. If you're trying to see a lot of places in a short amount of time, you can't be fumbling about with things. So you're going to see some of the um, features of this backpack that are really geared toward a traveler like myself. It's also geared toward people who like to do a little bit more uh, cinematography or photography. I don't use it as much, but I'm starting to lean into that with my growing channel and I um, am gonna be using this backpack this trip to take me to England. I'm going there for a month and a half, so it's a little bit different traveling for me. Um, normally, I only use this backpack, and I've done, like I said, I've done 10 countries in five weeks, and I did it trying to dress for as many different occasions as possible, whether it be going to the beach, going out at nighttime, like clubbing, whether it be like a formal attire event or going for a hike or working out. I like to be prepared for everything. <laughs> and so this backpack really makes me feel like I can do that, which is why I reached out to this brand and said, hey, I would love to be an ambassador for you guys because I can't stop raving about your product. And honestly, I would like to make money from <laughs> referring all the people I do to it. But um, recently, I had the most tiny tear in one of the straps. I, I should have brought it, but I didn't. Um, in the backpack, overall, over the last four years, considering how like rough and tough I am with it, lasted great. And there was, it wasn't actually broken. It was just starting to move that way. And since I'm a new ambassador, I reached out and said, hey, I'm a brand new ambassador. I would love to get a new bag because I have worn the other one a little bit. And I would love to um, do an unboxing and review for you guys to show everyone what a great backpack this is. And people who have this backpack, if you're traveling and you see another one, you're like, dude, right? This backpack is dope, isn't it? And that's always the energy that you get from people who have this. So it's, it's becoming a cult classic favorite amongst travelers who are trying to do it in a like more modern way. I don't like wearing the ones that look like I'm gonna go camping in the woods. I think those are meant for that exactly going and camping for the woods but if i'm traveling 10 different countries and i have to dress formal and i have to be discreet and let's be honest if you're a female traveling alone you don't want to be a target and people who see you with like a big backpack they they do single you out i mean i have been followed in other countries i've been pickpocketed 
not for too much, thank goodness, because I'm pretty savvy. Um, but yeah, you know, it's a, it's a real thing. So you probably want to hear more about this backpack, less about me. So let's go ahead and hop in. So here are some of the features I'm going to be sharing with you. This is for my tripod that I'm using right now that I will be packing in here for my travels. Here are my big bulky sweaters. Um, I have some gifts in here for Christmas. And I have to say this is one of my favorite features of this backpack. It is sold separately, but you must get it if you get the backpack. This is the uh, toiletry bag and then here's the bag itself. So as you can see, it looks just like a regular backpack. I mean, it has more bells and whistles, of course. This is the area where my last backpack had a, had a little bit of a tear. They've actually re-engineered it since then. So I think that they've mastered that aspect. I'll keep you updated on that. But it's just these snap-on clips that came with the backpack. I use these more than you'd think. They have zip-in little pockets right here. And on this side, pocket as well and inside there because I am a solo female traveler I have a little whistle um, that I can show you so in here I have a little safety whistle just in case you never know people are weird sometimes um, so I have that and then you unzip it and let's say you're going through TSA what I love about it is that your laptop and your iPad can fit right in there. And it's just so clean and um, easy to pack. So I just took out that bag right here. That will fit in here. And then in this little space right here, perfectly fits the toiletry bag. And then I'll slip in my tripod right here in the nook. And I'll show you some cool features about that bag once we get to it. So on this side, is where you'll put all of your electronics. So if you are electronically geared, this is where you'll separate all your different cords, lots of different pockets. I can't tell you how much I love how compartmentalized this is. This is RFID safe. For those who don't know, that means it protects your um, information from people who are walking by trying to scan your credit cards, passports, apparently this is a thing. With an ever-increasing technological world, there are ever-increasing attacks on the technological world. So why not be safe as you can be? So I will put in my like extra hidden money. I will put my passport um, and that's pretty much what I'll use this part for. So this is like my tech area and it has a pretty good capacity to hold what I need it to hold. So let me zip that up. Let's flip it around. On the top, this is where I will put more of my personal belongings, things that I want to be easy to grab, um, that are quick but protected. I've got my jewelry, I've got oils. Sometimes I'll put other things that are important for me to keep. This is all I'm putting in there for now, but sometimes I'll put a copy of my passport in there. It's always good to do that. It's a little travel hack. Um, and here, this is a water safe pocket that you can put in a, ooh, actually, is that the other one? No, that's the other one. So here is a big pocket that I will use for more of my toiletries and makeup bags. So here is all of my hair things. I used to be a hairdresser, so I love my hair goodies. I have a hair brush. And honestly, when you're traveling, let's say you have a layover, you're trying to just get dolled up real quick in between flights, this is definitely easier to get to and it doesn't make you look like a mess. It's all my makeup and goodies. And I believe that's mostly what I have in there. So you can tell it was really easy for me to get to all of that. It fits in there really nicely. And honestly, the accessibility of everything is just gold. <laughs> it's pure gold. And then there's this little water bottle pocket. I haven't used it as much for water bottles, although I have. I put more of my reusable utensils in here. And as some of you know who travel a lot, traveling can honestly be pretty unsustainable um, if you're always using plasticware. So I have all different things. I have a straw in here. 
I have another chopstick that's hiding, but I will put my my goodies in here. So that way, if I need to grab a quick bite, I can just say, no plastic, I'm good, thanks. Um, I have my own utensils. I can just rinse them off in the bathroom. It's really not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and flip it around. This side's a little less intricate. Now, it, this backpack really balances simple with complex, but in a very clean way. Um, so in here, I just have my notebook. So if you need to grab your notebook, jot down some ideas. And then in here is usually where I'll put all of my teas. And it's just a simple pocket. And as you can tell, all of this is waterproof. I have, I've walked 11 miles, I think is the most I've walked with this backpack on in all kinds of weather. And never once have I had any mishaps with this backpack. It's protected everything. So this bag has been a really valuable asset to my travels. And I don't honestly know how I would have traveled the way that I did without it. And on the bottom is where you're gonna put your shoes. And honestly, that's one pair of shoes, but I'll go ahead and show you my other favorite pair of shoes. You're gonna see these things have been worn. These are not very clean, but these are my native shoes. Um, and another short plug, like you can see, I have worn these down but I've had them for as long as I've had my nomadic backpack and these two together have really helped me do everything what I like about these is they're like my shower shoes my dress shoes they clean up you can wash them so don't worry I know they look a little sad right now but um, shower shoes beach shoes whatever you want them to be I've ran in the rain with these on carrying this backpack and um, when I'm not using them, they fit right in there. So you can put like two pairs of shoes. Sometimes I fit three, depending if you have sandals or big shoes or what have you. Um, so let me get into my favorite part. This is my favorite part of the whole bag. I get excited anytime I'm at a new hostel or a new location with other travelers. I have to show them this bag because it fascinates me. So I'll show you why it's so fascinating. I'm gonna unbuckle it and show you exactly how much is in here that you probably wouldn't expect. And normally I put my whole wardrobe in here. I'm going to England, it's gonna be very cold, so I'm traveling a little bit differently than usual. I'm staying with my boyfriend for a month and a half in one house. So this isn't the typical travel where I need to be on the go all the time. I actually get to like settle down, which is really nice. However, I have a new challenge or obstacle, which is I have all of these jackets that are like poofy and big. So I have one raincoat, one vest, poofy vest. I have one, two cashmere sweaters. I have some gifts that I need to give to my uh, boyfriend and his family. And then I have my very favorite robe but you can tell this thing's huge it's like bigger than my head um and all of that is what is in here so that's not a lot of pieces but it's a lot of volume and this is the perfect bag for it because i'll show you why put those gifts in there tell this bag's getting pretty full. If I do nothing, just trying to pack this, like it barely closes on the top. Like it's pretty darn full. So this is where the magic happens. As you can tell, it is rubber lined. So that means that it is waterproof. Um, water can't get in or out. And that is also very helpful just in case you're worried about something. Um, so it has rubber lined lips that you press together. And by the way, this isn't a new bag. This is the bag I've always had. So it's really upheld all of my demands. And I have, I don't know how many times I've used these features. So it's, it still looks brand new. Um, so I open this up counterclockwise. So I've opened up a one-way nozzle that'll allow me to push out all the air and um, 
did magic. So I'm gonna roll a little bit, roll a little bit. Six, seven. <laughs> I've been wanting to show people this video for so long. So this is me just being lazy, like pushing down on it. But just you wait. This is magic. I love this. And then you go ahead and turn the nozzle. So now it won't make as much. And look how freaking tiny that is now. Amazing, amazing. Um, I'll show you how it fits in there. It might get a little bit of air just because I didn't wrap it super tight. So I'll show you what my trick for that is. It's also intentional and I'll show you why. For that, I'm gonna show you my little nomadic toiletry bag. I love this because I have taken it into many a shower and it's situated in a way that you don't have to like bring everything out unless you want to, but you literally can just unzip it, open it, and there's a little hanger right in here and everything you need just hangs on something and uh, holds all the goodies that you need. It has a little zipper pocket, has a little pocket down here, and I've had everything I need in these and it's been wonderful. Um, little travel hack, I have this little desert cedar. Um, I don't think it's gonna zoom. Yeah, desert cedar essential oil that I used up. I'm gonna leave an open bottle in there just so it always smells fresh. Little things that you pick up on. Okay, so you've seen these two bits of it. Now it's time to put it into the backpack. So I will do the vacuum bag first. here and this is me sitting down on top of a bed which is like less like how I actually do it which is usually with me standing and having weight and things like that but you can tell I just did not struggle at all putting that in and then let me put this guy in which I use the handle as a little way to pull it out of that area but there's a little safe space for it to exist right in here perfect and now I can see that there's a little bit of air that I can push out of here. So once again, get a little more in your view. I'm gonna open that nozzle and then I'm just gonna sit on it. Close it up. And now it's super form fit to exactly what I need it to be. And that's it. It's super, super easy. It's, I can't rave about it enough. I'm not doing that because I want you to buy this backpack, although I do want you to buy this backpack. I'm just sharing because as a girl that like I, before I traveled those 10 countries, I'd been to maybe like two or three different countries outside of the States. And because I had this, I felt like I had the power and the strength and the like incognito-ness needed to travel and not have people really know that I was, you know, long-term traveling. I think that's such a lovely feature. And what's even better, although I don't recommend trying it, don't say I told you to do it because it's a risk involved for sure, but it just looks like a backpack, but you saw how much I condensed clothes, which means you can carry a lot more weight in here than it looks like you're carrying. And then you have these when you put it on, it honestly, the, it weight distributes so nicely in a way that doesn't feel like it's kind of wearing you down. Um, and then, again, harder to do while sitting on a bed, but I use this little waist strap that has the tag still on it. Not stop it now. So I'll go ahead and close this up 
and then if I'm trying to be really sneaky, which honestly I'm a sneaky, I'm a sneaky traveler. I'll be honest. I am a very sneaky traveler because I don't want to pay extra fees. <laughs> I think I've paid enough fees to travel. Um, and then sometimes I'll do this one, but again, super comfortable. I've stand, I've stood in customs and like border customs for hours with this backpack and it's so nice to like not have to pick up something drop it down pick it up drop it down or if you have a roller bag that's great but then when you have stairs like if I see stairs and there's like I don't know I've been in some airports and some train stations where there's like I don't know nine ten flights of stairs and then there's elevators and sometimes you want to work out and while you are traveling it's a great time to like just carry all everything you need on your back and then just run upstairs or walk really far or whatever it is I just don't have to do anything and I have both my hands free love that anyways if you're being sneaky this is what I do if I see someone else doing this I'm gonna be so happy but when I cuz I'll use this as my carry-on and I even got it on Ryanair, which if you've flown Ryanair, you know they're like literally the worst to fly with as far as like nickel and diming. So I'll do something like that and like be super low key about it and just make it look like I'm wearing a sweater to cover the waist straps. So that way it looks like I'm not carrying a lot of weight and I will stand in a certain way. It makes people think that I'm not carrying a lot of weight because I'm sneaky. I, I have to be to, you know, travel on a budget which I have been doing um so very cool love it but yeah I got it onto nomadic or not nomadic I got it onto Ryanair and I didn't even get any extra fees for that although I didn't print my I didn't print my boarding pass and they charged me $50 to print my boarding pass so if you're flying Ryanair there's another little travel hack print your boarding pass so, all in all, this is my favorite travel backpack. I will get it again and again and again. I am in love and I want the world to know. So if you guys are curious about anything, please feel free to ask your questions down there. I would be glad to answer them. Um, again, this is a brand that I loved and I reached out to. So I am doing it because it comes from my heart and they are a cool brand. I think I got them right when they had a Kickstarter. So like right in the beginning is when I, I started and they're gonna blow up for sure because they just are made so well. Um, but yeah, let me know what your questions are. And um, if you guys have any travel trips or travel questions or need any tips or tricks about things, I've learned a little bit at this point in my travel career and I hope to learn a lot more. What are your tips for traveling or little hacks that you like to use? I'd love to know. Feel free to smash that like, subscribe, and alert button so you can stay tuned and follow me while I enjoy the journey. Um, I might be doing a rebranding soon, but for now, I'm enjoying the journey. And I hope to see you guys back here again. Thanks for joining, and thank you to Nomadic for this backpack. I am so happy. I love her so much. Also, great companion for those days when you're a little tired and you just need to rest with your good friend. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Just kidding, I forgot a couple things. They also include this nice little laundry bag that goes underneath the bottom where I showed you where my shoes go. And then this one, <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone because I, have embarrassed myself a few times with this one, but it has this little handle to where you could put it on top of your luggage and you could, you know, carry it like that. I like to put my dirty socks and panties in there. <laughs> and it mostly works out fine. And sometimes other things happen, but I like that it can, you know, just keep things separated. <laughs> Girl's gotta do what she's gotta do. I'm traveling solo, y'all. So, don't judge me. And. Oh, oh me. Oh, another cool little thing is. 
you can put these little straps together and you can carry it like a suitcase. I've never once carried it like this, so it's a little weird for me to try it. So you can carry it like that with this little handle. I would have to adjust it and I really don't want to. That's not how I use it, so I'm just gonna stay authentic. But honestly, Golden thing. 